In part one, we saw how this fantastic light can be used as a softbox. In part two, we saw how it can be used as a white background. Now, take a look at this. The Ellingchrom Octa is a large, almost circular light source, so let's think about how we can use that. If you're familiar with a ring flash, you're probably thinking about the small, low-powered versions that screw to the filter thread of your lens and are used for macro work. They give a virtually shadow-free light, although it can be a little bit flat. In the world of fashion, ring flash is often used for high fashion photography. It's also used outside, mixed with daylight. It has two specific characteristics. Firstly, we get the polo mint reflection in the eye. Secondly, we get subtle shading around the edge of the subject. To set yourself up with a proper ring flash like this one with the Ranger RX battery system would give you the very best results, but it would be fairly expensive. Now, as I said, we already have a big circular light source with the Okta. So if I stand right in the middle like this with my camera, we almost have a ring flash with my lens in the center. Look at the catch lights in Claire's eyes. Yes, almost the Polo Mint. Unfortunately, I haven't mastered the art of levitation yet, so we haven't quite got the full circle of light, but I could always change that on the computer afterwards. As you can see, we do have the shading around Claire's arms, giving a very similar look to a real ring flash. If we stand Claire right up against the background, there's hardly any shadow, and what there is is falling right behind her body. Now, to take a reading, I have to ask an assistant or my subject to hold the meter, because if I'm not standing here, the reading will be different. So, Claire, please press the button on the meter and I'll fire the flash for my Skyport transmitter. OK, that's giving us f5.6.8, but remember, as we're using the Skyport system, I can change the flash power from my camera position. So let's adjust the light up by two presses of the plus button and get back to my shooting aperture of f8. So let's take some shots. You must keep your arms tucked well in, otherwise the reflection will look very strange in Claire's eyes. It's a great effect, and I'm sure you'll find many more ways of using this amazing light. I'm Chris Burford. Thanks for watching.